Hello everyone, today I'm here to demonstrate a few exercises that will be, um, you can add this exercise in your abdomen workout routine. So first of all, we're going to activate some gluteus muscles because we need a lot of support uh, in order to continue uh, doing effective abdomen exercise because gluteus are the support muscles uh, for upper body. About the position, you can either go to your ball of the feet or your heels can be completely flat on the floor. You may want to continue around 18 to 36 pulse. I want you to make each pulse very effective as your minimus, the gluteus minimus are activating their squeeze as well as your hip flexor are warming up when you do this pulse and so that your lower abdomen muscles also warming up at the same time. Now I'm going to demonstrate a double leg lift. For that I want you to keep your hands either below your hips or you can actually flex the, the head whichever you feel comfortable you go ahead and start your double leg lift up to 90 degree inhale to drop your both leg exhale to lift to the 90 degree this exercise works both your upper and lower abdomen muscles plus the hip flexors especially the sartorius it also requires uh, activation of your quadricep as well so this is very normal if you're feeling your legs are activating. This is very normal. If you don't want to feel that legs more, then keep pushing your navel down on the mat. For the effective outcome of your abdomen muscles, you may want to do three to five sets of 18 reps, double leg lift, and that is really a good set that you may want to do two to three times a week. You may want to rest, hold your knees and take a deep breath two to three times and get ready for next exercise is figure four, glute breeze. I always like to incorporate a glute exercise when I'm training abdomen muscles because I always think that the, uh, the, the gluteus muscles are the root of the, the core muscles. So the single leg breeze like in figure four exercise is a great way to isolate and strain the hip extensors. Uh, because it doesn't require any equipment uh, by doing this way. This exercise fit into uh, lower body strength workout, uh, which is performed at the gym. Uh, you can also do it at home or when you are traveling. The targeted muscles are mainly hamstring, hip flexors, lower back muscles, and gluteus muscles, as well as this, including uh, the gluteus maximus, minimus, and the medius. So always remember to incorporate this uh, gluteus exercise uh, as well as a little bit of hamstring and quadricep activation when you are doing your abdomen exercise. By adding figure 4 crunch, your abdomen workout becomes even more effective. Especially one leg is suspended, now your left side of the abdomen, the oblique muscles are working hard. Um, the one side of the rectus are also activating, so we're going to do the uh, other side as well, so that both rectus, both sides of the rectus muscles also activated. This is also, um, when I, whenever I do this single leg figure 4 crunch, I always feel that the lower abdomen muscles are more activated uh, than double leg, double leg lift. You may want to do 18 to 36 reps. Again, it's all up to you. If you have time, you can do five sets. If you don't have time, then you can just uh, do at least three sets of 18 reps. That would be really a good dose for your abdomen workout.
Although there are hundreds of ways to train the abdomen muscles, however, uh, this video I'm demonstrating abdomen exercise in a supine position. So we have to train in a different angle and we have to train our abdomen in a different planes of motion. So this is the very classic way to train the abdomen muscles. However, this targets rectus abdominis muscles. The bicycle crunch uh, primarily targets your um, this uh, very outer layer of the, the abdominis muscle. The upper abs known as the six pack muscle as well. The rectus abdominis stabilizes your pelvis while controlling spine to flexion and extension. It is very important uh, muscles. It's not only about sewing your six packs, but then it's all about you know how your posture going to be after these exercises. In this session, I have prepared only few abdominal exercises while lying uh, face up. You are in the supine position, which is easy for all the population. Uh, even if you are really uh, unable to perform in a prone position or sideways position, so please take this exercise video as a very uh, uh, beginner phase. Um, Next time I will prepare more videos in a sideways and as well as more in the prone positions. Thank you so much for watching and you may want to continue your exercise further ahead and do some cool down before you finish the exercise. Once again all the exercise, uh, all the reps you can keep 18 to 36. Thank you so much once again and enjoy yours.